Hey guys, here I got a set of uh, small block Chevy 400 heads. Uh, hot tank them. I've took a wire brush and cleaned, you know, best I can in here. These are racing heads. Uh, they run a class where they have to run cast iron. You can't run alone with heads. And these are World Products brand. These are aftermarket. Uh, these aren't like what you get when you used to buy the old hot rods back years ago. Uh, these have 208 valves, intake valves, 162 and a half exhaust. And uh, I'm going to magnet flux them. Uh, you've noticed I've not wire brushed any of this. Uh, I'm not taking any extra paintings until I make sure these heads are good and not cracked. Then I'll paint them and then with like a cast blast type paint makes them look like fresh cast iron. As you can see they pretty well are. Uh, they're pretty good shape. And I don't think they're cracked but I always, this is just a precaution. Then I'll wire brush all this and check the, the warpage and everything with a straight edge and uh, go from there. But what I use is uh, called a Magnaflex yoke. That's a big magnet. You just hook it up to a 110 outlet. You stick it on this head. Push the switch. And it magnetizes this. And you have this powder in this little bottle with a bulb on it. And you spray that. And when there's a crack, it'll fill the crack with that powder. And it'll make a little line. I don't know if I can get to show you what I'm talking about. Hopefully not. Which I'd like for you guys to see that. But... Uh, you know, I don't want this guy to have to pay uh, $700, $800 for another set of heads. But uh, I'll reset the camera up. I got a tripod now. Are you proud of me? And um, I'll reset the camera up and show you um, what I'm doing when I magnaflux. So I'll be back in a sec. Okay, guys, I got you set up here. Uh, this is just a little glass jar. Uh, it's got a little magnetic powder in it and then it's just like a, a rubber bulb and it sucks air in here pushes it down through our and pushes it out this tube so I've got the magnet set up here turn it on you can see it's on there pretty good and I just I'm gonna spray that and just wave it back and forth You do it in two directions. You see, I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera, but that powder just flies everywhere. It's one cylinder. And the reason you don't want to crack in this is because you have uh, coolant ports that run right around these valves to cool them. And needless to say, if there's a crack, then you're going to suck antifreeze up and burn it, which is going to eventually cause it to overheat and do damage to your pistons. Um, you know, it runs hot. It will uh, leak into the cylinder. You get enough into a cylinder, it'll do what they call hydraulic a cylinder, and it'll fill that cylinder up with water. And it's like uh, filling it up with metal because it, it doesn't have anywhere to push. And uh, it'll just bust the piston, bend rods, bend the crank, do all kinds of stuff. Okay, what I always do after I spray it on there, I take a little light like this and I inspect all the, the seats. And uh, just make sure you want to look real good, even down into the, the porch a little bit. I don't really see anything there. And what I'll do is I'll do this side. I'll do all these combustion chambers. I'll flip it up here. i set it up kind of like that. And I'll check across here and across here. Because, you know, on the older heads, they would crack right in here. Then I'll also set it down like this. And I'll set my magnet up like that, that, and that. And I'll spray powder because, you know, 
you you've got weak spots in here these have been ported um, you know for better airflow more horsepower and uh, you know they get weak if you take too much out of them I don't think that's the problem with these but it's always a good idea to check that's how you magna flux a head cast iron head uh, on aluminum you don't really do it like this you have a uh, uh, two or three different ways to do it. You can pressure test it. It's just what I do. I've got these plates on the wall here. Bolt them on there just like a head gasket and just basically like uh, checking a, a tire for a leak. You pump it full of air and spray it down with soapy water and uh, you know it'll show itself. But uh, you have that method. You have a like a black light type method. You spray a dye on it you, have, you actually spray like a treatment. Uh, you clean it real good, wipe it down. Then uh, you put the dye, spray can dye, and you take a black light, and it'll show all the cracks. But uh, that's just ways to do this. This is, this is not a real expensive job to have done either if you, you have a head you think it's cracked. Uh, to do a set of heads, you're going to pay probably Depending on the area, you know, bigger city, you know, you're going to pay more. But like around here, 30, 40 bucks, they'll clean them up, check them for cracks. Uh, for another 20 or 30 bucks, they'll put new valve stem seals on there, make sure everything's seating. Um, if it's not, then they'll do a valve job on it, which that's going to cost more. But it's always a good idea to have this done. Thanks for watching.